Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery, and today we are looking at this set of watercolors from M. Graham. This is their basic five color set. I got this on Amazon for a really great price, and I will link that in the um, affiliates link below. There are five colors in this set. The, uh, a yellow, which is Azo Yellow, which is PY151. There's a Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which is a very nice, it's a PR264. That is my favorite dark red, the PR264. They have a very nice Ultramarine, which is the standard PB29. They have a Sap Green, which has two pigments, PG7 and PY110. And they have a burnt sienna made from the standard PBR7. And as you can see here, I swatched them out. And I, I basically, this is how I set up my swatching charts. I put the colors here and the a lighter version here, a, a lighter tone of the same color. And then I mix this with this and get this. And then I mix the Azo Yellow with the Ultramarine and got a nice green. I mixed the Azo Yellow with the Sap Green and got a, a nice light green. With the Burnt Sienna, you just get a, a paler version of the Burnt Sienna. If you take the Permanentalism Crimson and you mix it with the Azo Yellow, you get a very nice earthy orange. You see that here as well. That's the standard uh, lighter tone washed out of the alizarin crimson. This is your ultramarine and your uh, permanent alizarin crimson, which gives you this really nice dark uh, violet. The sap green and the alizarin crimson. I got a brown here, but you can get you can push it all the way. You should be able to push it all the way almost to a, a black. Here it is with the burnt sienna. Um, burnt sienna with dark reds make these really lovely, earthy, um, dark reds. And here's the ultramarine with the azo yellow, makes a really lovely blue-green. And with the permanent alizarin crimson, here's a slightly different um, violet. Ultramarine and the sap green and the ultramarine, which gives you just a darker version of the sap green, which actually I like better than their regular sap green. And when you mix ultramarine and burnt sienna, you get the standard mix, which is just a beautiful gray. It's also known as Jane's gray. It's my favorite um, dark gray mixture. And the sap green with the azo yellow. With the permanent alizarin, you can get a nice brown. With the ultramarine, you dark rich green. That sap green, and with burnt sienna, you get another version of a brown. And of course, with the burnt sienna, you get the a lighter version with the azo yellow. Uh, there's that beautiful combination again of the permanent alizarin and the burnt sienna, which is one of my favorite darks. That's my, well, it's my favorite dark that you can mix, my favorite dark red. And here's that black that you can get with the ultramarine and the burnt sienna. You can see the difference here. It just depends on which way you push it, how much ultramarine you put in there versus how much burnt sienna you put in there. Here's the burnt sienna and the sap green, which gives you this lovely kind of earthy green. So as you can see, it's a beautiful little set. Um, if you need these basic colors, I'd say it is an excellent value. And if you see, as you can see down here, this is the ultramarine and the burnt sienna, and it granulates nicely. And here's your, your dark permanent alizarin crimson and your sap green, which gives you that nice, earthy, neutral black mixture. So if you're a beginner, this is a wonderful set to start with. M. Graham is just a wonderful paint. I love them. They're my favorite uh, brand of paint, uh, mostly because of the honey. They re-wet beautifully. The pigment load is excellent. And a lot, most of their pigments are single pigment. So there you have it. There's M. Graham. And if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon if you would like further updates. Have a great day.